Right now, you might be using AI like a bazooka, and there's a big problem with this approach. It seems powerful, but when you press enter, it's messy, noisy, and hits a large area, and not exactly what you expect. And this is where damage happens, AI risks, hallucinations, and other governance problems. People open ChatGPT, for example, and they throw in a vague request like, uh, write me a full safety policy, for example, or something else, and they expect magic. And that's where they get a bunch of words, generic text with poor or very little to no value. So if you're using generative AI for fun, well, you probably don't care much, but EHS leaders and smart professionals expect clarity and increased productivity. And if you want AI to work for you, you have to aim and use it like a professional sniper. Hi, I'm Lucas, and if you stick with me to the end of this video, I'll show you my five-step approach to using generative AI like a professional sniper that rarely misses a shot. Let me frame this problem clearly. So every week I meet safety professionals and safety leaders experimenting with AI, and almost 9% of them are frustrated. They say things like, well, ChatGPT doesn't understand safety, it writes me the same stuff in different ways over and over again, and it takes me more time to fix than to write from scratch. Let me tell you something, AI isn't perfect, we know that, but it's probably not the problem. The problem is your prompt. So when you fire with a bazooka, everything in the area gets hit. When you use AI without precision, you get results that can look impressive, but it can be useless and you have no time to waste. Let me explain. Have you heard about the garbage in, garbage out rule? Well, it's a simple way to explain why you are not getting results. It seems very basic, but in fact, most people doesn't know this basic rule because AI works like a machine that mimics human thinking, but it doesn't think like human. So in spite of its speeds and amazing architecture, it's basically a calculator of words predicting the next words to form a sentence based on the data it was trained. Did you know that AI data comes mainly from Reddit, blogs, blogs, Wikipedia, social media, and yes. So if you don't give a structure command, like a prompt, it will not perform as you expect. So that's why we say garbage in, garbage out. Clear? OK. AI mirrors the clarity of your thinking. So if you feed it with confusion, it amplifies confusion. But if you feed it with structure, it gives you insight. That's why the difference between average users and top performers isn't access to generative AI. It's how they talk to it. And that's where prompt engineering comes in. Let me show you the sniper methods that I teach safety leaders worldwide. Step one, the role. Tell AI who you should be, for example, act as a health and safety manager with expertise in ISO 45001, for example. This instantly frames context and the language AI will use. Step number two, explain the situation. For example, we had a near miss involving a forklift reversing in a warehouse. The more real words tell you add, the smarter the output is. Number three, the task. Tell it exactly what you want. For example, write me a 150-word summary highlighting immediate causes and corrective actions, and don't say just write a report, and that's the bazooka. You need to be laser-specific. Remember, you're the sniper. And step four, the format. Tell it how it should present it. So for example, Provide it in a table format with columns like for the issue, root cause, and control measures. AI follows structure beautifully. You just need to give it one. And step number five, keep human in the loop. Yes, refine your prompt. You can ask something like, uh, what additional information do you need from me to execute this prompt? This iterative feedback loop is where the magic happens. Well, I said there's no magic. I got confused now, but, but anyway. Uh, the more information you give, the better. So when you follow these five steps, AI becomes a collaborator, not a chaos machine. And this is not about doing more, it's about doing smarter. Well, I said that I would review my hack that elevates the ability to use AI as a co-pilot and not an autopilot. Well, this is about critical thinking. I never use AI blindly because 
what matters the most is my ability to control it. Uh, so when you understand it, it's where you become a true sniper. So here's your challenge. Next time you open ChatGPT or any other LLM, don't fire the bazooka. Take a breath, define the role, give it a context, and aim with precision. You'll be shocked how much better and safer your outcomes will be. So if you want to master this sniper approach and truly become a Safety 4.0 leader, you need to join me in my upcoming course, Safety 4.0, Leading Safety in the Digital Age. You will learn how to turn AI into your most powerful safety ally. Well, subscribe, hit the bell button, and download my free Safety 4.0 playbook. The link is below because your journey to smarter safety starts today.